That's just insane. It's so insane. Do you I am off to my first festival. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Amity and I make videos all about living life to the fullest with illness but I also this year I'm going to focus a lot on my dream. Some of you may know and some of you might not know. I'm a singer-songwriter and that is my first passion basically. A bit of background, I'm going to the Tamworth Country Music Festival, which is one of the biggest music festivals in Australia. It's massive every year. It's just insane that this is what I'm doing. It is a country music festival, but they also have a whole bunch of other genres as well. It is probably the largest festival in Australia, I think, like music festival. So I got invited by Scripture Union to go over there and to be a part of the Christian music section of it, which is so exciting. I am just in awe of it because it's incredible. So come along with me this week as we go to the festival. My first one. I haven't even played a proper gig before you guys and I'm going straight to a festival. This is insane. Alright. <laughs> just waiting for the Uber. Somebody, I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go about you but sometimes I do because sometimes hey, I forgot to update you guys I've made it it's a new day last night I just went to my billeted family and I slept now I'm after a 9 volt battery for my guitar hi hello we got mist coming down because it's so hot so they've got like mist showers so cool. Hi guys, it is four o'clock in the afternoon and I am back at my billeted house and I'm just chilling because I'm so tired. It is sticking hot. It's like out west of Australia, so it's pretty hot. High dehydration risk. As you saw in my last clip, there was those like mist water things they have there for you to like stand under because it is so hot. I'm just chilling and now I'm just doing some work, marketing work that I do and whatnot. And then we're going to go back tonight and check out all that stuff. I've got another gig, I think, tomorrow and another one on Friday, which is so cool. And you guys, I went and talked to a lovely lady who works for one of the top two Christian radio stations in Australia. It's like a massive one in Brisbane and they're also connected to a few others and she she has given me contacts to get my music up on radio when my song releases soon that's uh, just insane it's so insane Hello. <laughs> I'm back so I have gone to my permanent billets now. So the billets that I was billeted out to before was just for one night. And now I'm at my other billets for a week. If you don't know what I mean by that, like they're billeting out the artists across like the place. 
I went on the Ferris wheel, as you saw, and then what I didn't film was we went on the giant swing thingy, like it was so fun, but like when they're up in the air it doesn't actually look like it's going fast, but when you're in the air like it's ten times faster than it looks, it was so fun. The funniest thing we did was we went and we found a pay phone because one of the girls that was like part of our group sort of thing was telling us that her family has a thing where they like call someone on a pay phone except now you don't have to pay so she was explaining that her family has this thing where they like call each other up on a pay phone it'll be like in a random number in a random city it comes up with the city it's from so you like wherever you are that's where it happens and like called up and it's like yo or like ish a bra <laughs> or something like that and then hang up it's like so funny so like all of us thought that was so funny so we went to a bunch of pay phones and just started calling like numbers of like people that we knew but we called these people that I don't know and I was on the phone to like complete strangers and I thought it was so hilarious because they knew who they were but I didn't and they were telling me like what to say they're, like lowy voice now and they're like oh okay so now you gotta like be Britney Spears it was so funny it was great. I gotta go to bed because tomorrow I th think I've got another gig. I think. Yeah. Anyway, good night. Bye. Morning, everyone. It's Wednesday and I don't have a gig today, so I've got a completely free day. I wasn't sure if I had a gig today or tomorrow, so I came anyway into town and. I realized I haven't showed you much around the festival, so I'm going to show you guys around the festival and show you all the really cool stuff. And then I'm meeting up with a friend who I was bridesmaid for back in the day. It wasn't even that long ago. It was like... It was like five, four or five years ago. Wow, that's actually insane. Wow. Um, that was a while ago. And yeah, I'm just going to look around the city and then I'm going to go back home, do some work. everyone so I have been moved to the caravan it's actually a really nice caravan there's a bed here's my workspace fridge freezer kitchen bathroom even so why have I moved here well it's because my my billets have gotten the Rona and I just can't afford to catch it so I'm out here and I can come and go freely a bit more so yeah I'm just gonna do some work now and then I'm gonna go back in tonight. I feel like I've been hit by a bus and no it's not COVID. It's literally just the fact that I've had such a big last couple of weeks. As you saw last week I was up in McLean and I went surfing and it was great and such a great time and then I was home for 24 hours and then left again and I just feel so hit but I'm also struggling a little bit with Eduardo, so it's been a while since we've had an Eduardo update, so let's do one, shall we? I'm just going to find a place to put my camera to show you. I've got bike pants underneath, but... This is Eduardo. He's pretty thick. It's like really thick, actually. So, that's not really a good sign. But it explains the nausea and all that. It basically just means uh, eh, bed. It basically just means that I am blocked up and my intestines are deciding to have another paralysis kick in thing, so my stomach is so sore. The other thing I have got to talk to my doctor about and I've got to look out for is I started last night or last night getting a sharp pain right about here it's constant and ongoing i'm hoping it was just a blockage that was kind of poking out and doing problems because otherwise it could be appendicitis but i don't think it is at this stage if it gets worse i will have to go 
to hospital. I don't think I will need to go to hospital until I get home, though. Once upon a time, I fell in love with a high fancy small town girl, population 4,000. another great day at the festival today it was so much fun I actually so I'll explain what we did today because I didn't feel much but I slept in because I was exhausted and then I went to the festival I had a later on like a later set because my set was at two o'clock so I didn't need to leave till later on I did my set it was 40 degrees today Celsius so that's like hundred or something or near a hundred or hundred something Fahrenheit I don't know you can look it up ridiculously hot and so all of the SU team and me um included because I came along with them uh, while like it was kind of in a quieter period where people were kind of having their afternoon rests and stuff we went back to uh someone's house and we just like stayed there and rested and watched Super Mario Bros sort of like it was more background noise than anything but yeah that was cool then I came back we saw what I filmed before like they were really cool like kind of rock sort of band they were really good and now I'm back home because I've just been feeling really sick all day hence why I haven't filmed much I've just been resting when I didn't do my set but I'm gonna give you an Eduardo update again this is after a full day at the festival I do have bike pants on I have bike pants on just to stop the chafing because it's like real bad but this is what it looks like I don't know if you can see it properly but it's pretty pretty big it's pretty solid as well as you can see my little tube there is like hanging out for dear life 
Eduardo is not doing good. If you want to know more about the whole Eduardo thing, it's a long conversation, very long to explain why it's called Eduardo, but you can watch my 20... No, you can watch the last Q&A video I did because I did explain Eduardo there. I'm pretty sure. Now I'm just going to chill. I've gotten back early tonight, so I'm going to do some work. And yeah, good night. Hey guys, I'm at the Golden Guitar. Today is Friday. That's my last day here in Tamworth. I did my last gig to send, which was so cool. And now I'm checking out the Golden Guitar, which is like a big guitar here. Cause sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on First Avenue. Cause sometimes I don't even where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were I don't always think about you Till first avenue That's when I do This is Jay-Z Gamers of my week here at Tamworth Country Music Festival. It's been insanely cool. I have packed all my gear back there and I'm ready to head back to Sydney. It's gonna be sad saying goodbye to this incredible week, but you know, gotta get back home and gotta get back to work and all that kind of stuff. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you liked it even more, don't forget to click that subscribe button. You can also follow me over my Instagram at Amity Gilmore. And I have a question for all of you guys who stayed around. And that question is, do you like country music? Tell me if you do and why. Love you guys. God bless. I don't always think about you till first avenue.